Hello everybody, I'm your host Luca and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Marvel TV show Moon Knight that drops on March 30th on Disney Plus. Let's get straight into the video. This Monday, don't miss the world trailer premiere. There's chaos in you. Of Marvel Studios Moon Knight this Monday. So, who is Moon Knight, I hear you ask? Well, he's a mercenary by the name of Mark Spector who gets left for dead in the Egyptian desert and then revived with the moon deity Khonshu. He's appointed as Khonshu's fist and high priest and his job is to enact justice on those who try and attack those who travel at night. Mark's got dissociative identity disorder. Some of his alters are being millionaire Stephen Grant and cab driver Jake Lockley. My thoughts on the footage that we've gotten so far that Oscar Isaac is doing a fantastic job. The only issue I have is the English accent, unfortunately. It's just too Dick Van Dyke. I have a sleeping disorder. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Other than that, amazing. And that's just my opinion, some might disagree. Every word seems to have some sort of fear behind it. It's interesting it's intriguing to me i'm like oh show me more in the trailer we see him put painter's tape on the door he's got so many locks it, he says he has a sleeping disorder he's got a stay awake app and he's playing with a rubik's cube he chains his foot to the bed also he can't access these other personalities nobody can come in and he knows if he's left and my thoughts on the cast of the show okay so we've got oscar isaac portraying moon knight um that's going to be very interesting to see how one man portrays three people especially with the extra voice of Konshu in his head embrace the chaos as an influence as well. It's not like we haven't seen it before. We've had characters in shows like Doom Patrol with uh, Crazy Jane. She's got multiple personalities as well, so it is doable. Legion is another show with uh, a character who's got multiple personalities and it is very interesting to see shows that do um, actually incorporate this kind of stuff because in those examples that I gave, Legion and with Crazy Jen, each persona has its own power as well. So it's even more dangerous to be this kind of person. Ethan Hawke as Arthur Harrow. I've heard that he decided to base his uh, portrayal on Arthur Harrow. David Koresh of the Branch Davidians cult. So that's something i feel like costume design and the wardrobe that they've given ethan Hawke in the show is one of those subconscious things it looks like it's supposed to keep you calm but the way he's going to play this role is what's going to kind of give you the spine tingling creeped out we've got the late gaspard ulier playing midnight man who is one of moon knight's enemies uh, he's a mainly i think an art thief who strikes only specifically at, you got it, Midnight, hence the name Midnight Man. We have Mei Kalamwe as Leila de Crisio. I don't know much about Leila other than the fact that her parents were the leaders of the Chinese triad and that the Italian mob had her parents taken care of, if you know what I mean. And the murderer raised her as his own, except it wasn't very loving it was one of those where you get fed and you get to come in after you've done your training and by the age of like 20 she had 100 murders it's going to be a very complicated journey i can see for her as well kind of like echo in hawkeye she's just been used as a weapon her entire life and uh, we've seen how that worked out of echo you can't blame her she's been lied to and corrupted her entire life Everything she knows to be true is a lie. And I feel like it's going to be the same way with Layla, to be honest. Uh, Loic Mabanza as Bushman is apparently amazing. So this will be my first time actually seeing him work. I really hope that you're allowed to flourish. Because having somebody who not only is responsible for Moon Knight's creation, but say if there was, it circled back around. Like when Bushman meets Moon Knight, not knowing it's Mark, that... Moon Knight 
I don't know, maybe maims him or something. My thought on the chance of us getting a MCU Midnight Suns property now, because we've got Moon Knight, we've got Doctor Strange, uh, WandaVision has taken us down a deep and dark, twisted turn. I feel like the opportunities are there. I feel like we've probably got a 60% chance. We've got Mahershala Ali's Blade. The team I'm familiar with is Doctor Strange, Blade, Moon Knight and Ghost Rider. Now, if we was to have a Ghost Rider on the team, I'm not sure who I would prefer. If we was to get Nicolas Cage's Johnny Blaze, who kicked off the Ghost Rider franchise. Looking for someone. Back to hell. Or if we would get Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s depiction of Robbie Reyes. Uh, you know, Gabriel Luna did a great job on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Is he inhuman? He claims he made a deal with the devil. This is nonsense. You know, the rationalist in me wants to agree, but Skull on Fire presents a pretty compelling argument for Hail Satan. With Ghost Rider, it would be nice to see maybe both Johnny Blaze and Robbie Reyes on screen. Maybe the same way that we had Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire come in. We could have the same thing with a Ghost Rider franchise. It would be pretty cool. And it's not as if the multiverse doesn't exist. We're literally getting Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness. So I think that anything's possible nowadays. What are your thoughts on the Moon Knight footage? Do you like the Moon Knight costume? And write down in the comments what you think is happening in this fight. Is Moon Knight beating up Werewolf by Night? Or do you think he's beating up the Jackal? Please like, comment and subscribe. I've been your host Luca. I hope you've enjoyed the video.